Hey guys, I'm Jeff and you're watching Valley Fish. I uh, just thought I'd give you an update on what I'm working on. It is uh, Monday Night Football and uh, commercial break, so I thought I'd make a quick video. But uh, let's jump into it. So this is my 10 gallon rack, unfinished. Got a lot of work to do. But I'm going to show you where I'm at. So uh, the other night I was going through and I was doing some uh, maple tree trimmings. That one I'm not 100% on. And that was going to sit like on top of the brick like that. But still on uh, decided. But I like the brick. This one I'm waiting to fill in so I can trim it. But I really like it. I got the uh, jungle valve in the back. Now it's going to get so thick you won't ever see through it. I got the uh, red metallic crip in the vase. All equal complete. Kind of went bare bottom up front with a bunch of mold. And uh, this is the fizzing and moss here. So I kind of hope the moss will take all over. Now when I pulled this moss over, I did get some scuds in this tank. So I had plans of making a shrimp tank, but we'll have to see how that goes. Might have to keep some guppies in there for a while. But definitely with the uh, scuds in there, it'll keep the algae in check. So I won't have no hair algae in my moss. So this is a tank I was really proud of now I did trim that piece of mo um, what is it maple out of the yard looks really good I got it propped in there I gotta let it dry before I ever add water but uh, anyways I got the stones in there that I really liked and I picked some sand and then I don't know if you can see but right there on the end of my finger is a chip and I don't think it's deep enough to crack but just enough to irritate me <laughs> a lot but when I was drilling these tanks because they're all drilled with a bulkhead none under there's a bulkhead and this one don't have the 90 on there yet but anyways there was one tank I remember that I forgot to put the catch uh, I was using like a styrofoam wrap and this must have been the tank because right there got a big old gouge and it's directly in front of the bulkhead so it must have been it I'm really hoping that I don't have any cracking problems but I doubt I will it's only 10 gallon there's not gonna be a lot of pressure it's just like a little blemish but it is enough to really annoy me because I just what I would call an aquascape on this tank and got it looking really good like man I can't wait till that wood dries like maybe it'll be a week maybe it'll be two and the way I'm gonna tell is so all the pieces that I trimmed off when I was chopping this tree down or not chopping the tree but trimming it which I had to do anyways because it was getting close to the power line so making good use of it but all the pieces that I trimmed I'll crack it and when I can crack it and get in the middle and it's dry I'll know this tank will be ready so I save those so that's my plan got the stones all set up now there's a little bit of extra sand in there but I'll you know kind of waft that away into the cracks when I fill it but other than that little annoyance right there a little teeny chip in the front glass it's always going to bug me. Uh, I guess you call it a little OCD, but I like this aquascape. I love the sand. And uh, I went to Lowe's. And I actually set up a little cup so I can show you guys. Now this is the sand that I went with. It's really fine. I like it. It is actually going to be the multiple purpose uh, utility sand and uh, the second choice that I got was a all purpose utility sand now it's kind of like a dirty sand you know there's a lot of colors I've used this in other tanks but not that one the reason was is I uh, I also got the river rock from them guys and I put this under the I put it under the uh, roof drain and it comes up really nice and clean then I had 
whole bunch of shingle little particles on it so I had to rinse each rock so there's a few that are a little wet but that's the stone that I used was from them guys little black river rock I really like it but anyways back to this so this was the one that I went with which was the multiple purpose utility sand it's way finer that was the all-purpose no let me check. Mm, got it. Yes. This one was the multiple purpose. This one was the all purpose. And this one I was disappointed with because as much as people like it was the pool filter sand. And it looks like salt. I don't know. It might be different for some people. I'm sure it's not real consistent, but... I didn't like the way that looked. Now maybe for size wise it's better for an aquarium. I don't know. But this is all trial and error. But I really like this one. So that's one we're going with. Again I'll show you. That is the multiple purpose. From Lowe's. And it's just really fine. And really bright white. And uh, I like it. So that's what I went with. So, like I said, I got the brick. Gotta let this piece dry out, or might cut another one. I wasn't 100%, so just try and do a little aquascape. This is the middle row. I know I told you guys I'd give you a tour when it's all done, but not all done. But I'm gonna try and make the middle row look really nice. And uh, I got full reds in here and greens in here, so I'm trying to prevent jumping. But. I like how the middle row is looking. I got like a desert theme. This is going to be the jungle. And I got, you know, this tank I need to decide on. And this one I need to uh, finish the drain line behind it so I can get another tank. Because there'll be four on each row. Just like on the bottom. I don't know if I'll do anything with these bottom tanks. I might leave them bare bottom. Uh, use them as like a quarantine row because they're all drilled. Now eventually I'd like to do a turn valve auto change, but right now I just gotta stick the old python on it. But and I got to drill a few more tanks and get them plumbed up and gonna get the top all squared away and I'll make a video for you guys on how I did that. But I'm gonna we're gonna run through the bottom tanks and then we're gonna call it. So this was summer tubbing. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, choking up a little bit. I had to move the bucket. This was summer tubbing. Hello, reflection. This is summer tubbing, uh, half black greens. These are all the babies. And there's a bunch in there. I'm going to slide the light. One thing I'm going to show you guys in the future how I did that, but I really like it. Hopefully, it'll help for recording say that and it did not at all but so a bunch of half black green babies and here's the teenagers I haven't got the adults on this rack yet that is whole I think it's a light above me that's making this bad let's try it just for fun kill that middle light I'm gonna come back down Nope, it's still bad. Hmm. So this is, uh, they look blue inside, but they are sure green outside. I don't know why. I think it has to do a lot with when the water's soft, I think they look green. When the water gets hard, I think they look blue. I believe I said that right. Soft green, hard blue, but same fish, but they just have a different tint. I'm sure it has to do with light and everything else, but anyways, they're good looking, really happy. So I have a few people that are interested, and this is basically what they look like. Now these guys have a little more black on the rim of the tail than I would really like, but also got a bunch of floaters, so I can't get real good light. 
And then this is going to be the reds. I got the sandbag right in front, which I wasn't planning on doing this, but here's the reds from the outside summer tubbin. So we will uh, probably end up selling these to the local fish store because I have a ton of fry of these guys. So we're just going to move these guys on, I think, even though there's a few about ready to drop, but i got so many fry now that I'm just going to have to let them go, I think. But anyways, uh, uh, turn my light back on. I like the way it looks. Mm. It's fun. Can't wait to get them all rolling. Well, it might be silly. It's a little 10-gallon rack, but I spent a lot of time uh, looking at it, and I'm sure excited about it. And after this rack's up and running, there'll be a 20-gallon rack that I start working on. So, uh... A lot more projects, a few aquascapes, aquascape, stuttered on that one a little bit, but anyway, so I'll catch you guys in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it.